Hello everyone, welcome to Mathematics Parshala. Today we will solve a problem from CSIR NEET June 2023 part C linear algebra. Question ID 704078. So let's see the question. Consider the following quadratic forms over the real number set R. Here these three quadratic forms are given. Then which of the following statements are true? So here the first statement is given that quadratic forms A and B are equivalent. And here it is given that quadratic forms A and C are equivalent. So now to check that the given quadratic forms are equivalent or not, first of all we have to know that when we can say that two quadratic forms are equivalent. So let's see. Two real quadratic forms are equivalent under the group of linear transformations. If and only if they have the same rank and the same signature. What is rank and signature? Let's see. Let Q is equals to X transpose AX be a quadratic form in the matrix form. Then the number of non-zero eigenvalues of the matrix A is called the rank of the quadratic form. And the signature of a quadratic form is defined as the triplet in subscript 0, in superscript plus and in superscript minus. Where n0 is the number of 0 eigenvalues, in superscript plus is the number of positive eigenvalues and in superscript minus is the number of negative eigenvalues. And what is index? The index is the number of positive eigenvalues of the matrix A. So now let's check the rank and signature of the given three quadratic forms. The first quadratic form is given here 6x square minus 13xy plus 6y square. We can write this in the matrix form as here we can write 6 because here the coefficient of x square is 6 and the coefficient of y square is 6 we have written here 6. Coefficient of x y is here minus 13 which we are dividing into two parts here minus 13 by 2 and here minus 13 by 2. So to find the eigenvalue lambda 1 of this matrix we can write this characteristic polynomial of A that is lambda 1 square minus trace of A into lambda 1 plus rate of A is equals to 0. Here trace of A is the sum of the diagonal elements 6 plus 6 is equals to 12 we have written and here the date of A is minus 25 by 4. So calculating this for lambda 1 by applying Schrader HDS formula we get two eigenvalues 25 by 2 and minus half. So rank is 2 because we get 2 non-zero eigenvalues and index is 1 because we get only 1 positive eigenvalue. Let's check about the signature. Here signature is 0, 1, 1 in this trade platform we can write. Here the number of 0 eigenvalue is 0 and the number of positive eigenvalue is 1. We get only 1 positive eigenvalue 25 by 2 and number of negative eigenvalue is also 1 because we get here only one negative eigenvalue that is minus half. So let's check about the rank and signature of our next quadratic form. So here similarly we can write this quadratic form x square minus x square plus 2y square in this banner. Here 1 is the coefficient of x square, 2 is coefficient of y square and here xy coefficient of xy is minus 1. So we have written minus 1 in 2 parts divided by into 2 parts minus half and minus half. So let's check the eigenvalue lambda 2 of this quadratic form. Here the characteristic polynomial of this matrix is lambda 2 square minus trace of b into lambda 2 plus rate of b is equals to 0 similarly and here we get trace of b is equals to 1 plus 2 that is the sum of diagonal elements 3 and date of b is equals to 2 into 1, 2 minus 1 by 4, that is 7 by 4. Here we get by applying Sridhar Acharya's formula lambda 2 is equals to 3 plus minus root over 2 by 2, which is always greater than 0, whatever root 2 is plus or minus. Because we know the value of root 2 is 1.4.4 something. So when it is plus root 2, 
then also we get the value greater than 0 and when it is minus root 2 then also we get the eigenvalue lambda 2 greater than 0. So in the both cases plus and minus root 2 we get an eigenvalue which is positive. So here number of non-zero eigenvalue is 0. Uh, zero. So here The number of non-zero eigenvalue is 2 that is 3 plus root 2 by 2 and 3 minus root 2 by 2. So the number of non-zero eigenvalue is 2 and our index is 2 because we get 2 positive eigenvalue here. So index is 2 and signature is 0 to 0. We can write as this because here the number of 0 eigenvalue is 0 and the number of positive eigenvalue is what? 0 which is n plus and the number of negative eigenvalue is also 0. So here we get signature 0 to 0 as this triplet form. Now let us check another quadratic form. Here the another quadratic form given is x square minus x y minus 2 y square. In the same manner we get this matrix 1 here the coefficient of x square is 1. And the coefficient of y square is minus 2 here written and coefficient of x y is minus 1 which is divided into two parts as minus 1 by 2 and minus 1 by 2. So let us check the eigenvalue lambda 3 from this characteristic polynomial. Similarly, we get here by applying Schroeder Rachegger's formula minus 1 plus minus root over 10 by 2. So here root over 10 is 3.16. So when it is plus 3.16, then 3.16 minus 1 by 2, we get a positive value. And when it is minus 3.16 minus 1 by 2, we get a negative eigenvalue. You can see it. So, here we get rank 2. And index is 1 because here we get 1 and only positive eigenvalue. And and 2 non-zero eigenvalue. So rank 2 and index is 1 because we get 1 and only positive eigenvalue. So now we get signature as 0, 1, 1 because here the number of 0 eigenvalue is 0, number of positive eigenvalue is 1 as we said earlier and the number of negative eigenvalue is also 1. So here the signature is 0, 1, 1. So, what we see that here the real quadratic forms A and C have the same rank and same signature because in the in the both cases you can see that rank is 2 signature is 0 1 1 and in this case here we get rank 2 index 2 signature is 0 2 0. So, B and C are not equivalent and here in the case 1 what we get? Here we get rank 2 index 1 and signature 0 1 1. So, here rank is 2 signature is 0 1 1. What we have get in number C quadratic form also. So, what is given in our question? Here is given quadratic forms A and B are equivalent. So, it is not true because quadratic forms A and B have not the same rank and same signature. But quadratic forms A and C have the same rank and same signature. So, they are equivalent. We can say quadratic forms A and C are equivalent. So, now let us check quadratic form B and C. Quadratic form B is positive definite or not and quadratic form C is positive definite or not. So, here we have get that option 2 is true. Quadratic form C and C are equivalent now. Now we all know about nature of a quadratic form. From since uh, BSc level we know the nature of quadratic form. Here for the sake of convenience I have written so that you can recall this. So, here 
we have only given that in the question about positive definite so when a quadratic form is positive definite when the all eigen values are positive so here the quadratic form b has two positive eigen values let's check here we have said that here the two positive eigen values are positive so quadratic form b has two positive eigen values and therefore quadratic form b is positive definite so option 3 is true and the our next option is given that quadratic form c is positive definite or not but the quadratic form c has one positive and another negative eigen values so quadratic form c is indefinite so option 4 is not true because here here we get one positive and one negative eigen value here is it it is given positive eigen value one negative eigen value one so it is indefinite so here what we get let's see here we get option 2 is true and option 3 is true and option 1 and 4 are false hope you all like this video please subscribe our channel and support us